Howdy, beautiful love, Bart here, and welcome. It's going to be a quick tutorial video. If you've got the Cindy Studios Polygon Western pack, and you're like, I love those swinging saloon doors, but really wish they would work. No, well, you can make them work. Really quick, really easy and stupid simple to do. Um, what I'll do here is I'll create a temporary map and this is the actual blueprint. I'll close that down and I will recreate it here on the stream show you guys what what it's like to actually do this. So what I'll do here is go to a new level VR basic And I'm going to get rid of the stuff in here. Delete. Actually, let's um, let's do a new level default. Just so we have a platform to work with. And get rid of these guys. Do a BSP geometry box. Drop it in here. We'll go 0, 0, and 0. Actually, negative 5. We'll change the dimensions for the X, Y, and Z to 2000, 2000, and 10. That'll give us a platform to actually walk on. We'll set our world settings to third person game mode. And there, we can walk around. We have somewhere to be. So, to get these things to work, I'm going to go ahead and throw the saloon building in here. And absolutely love this asset pack. It's been one of my favorites. So we've got the saloon. I'm going to go ahead and rotate it around. And we'll do 180 and we'll shove it to the other side. Alright, so the building. Go over here. And of course, it's empty. So to make the actual blueprints to get the, the doors to actually work, then all we're going to need to do is, I've got a folder that I created for my gadgets. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a new blueprint. Actor, swinging, doors. I'm going to go into the blueprint and there's nothing we need to do in the event graph at all. This is all going to be done right here in the viewport. So what I'm going to do is go back down to props and just need to find the swinging doors. And I always overlook them every time I go through here. Um, Yeah, I'm really, really bad about overlooking where they actually are. And I'm pretty sure it's in the props folder, so. Um, worst case scenario, you can type in SA for a saloon. Nope. Try door. Nope. Okay, I was in the wrong. It was in the building folder. So I'm going to select it here and go back to here, add component and static mesh. And the reason why I selected it first before coming in here is now whenever I select it, it's already got the model selected. And I'm going to call this door one, no space. And you can see the green line is what we're going to focus on right here. So I'm going to move this over and put it to right here and that's going to give me roughly where I need to be so I'm going to change this to negative 65 we're going to want just a small amount of gap in between the doors so now we got that everything else can be zero we're going to have to change the height of it later but uh, we'll worry about that in just a minute so I'm going to hit control C and control V and that's going to create door 2 and 
what I'm going to do is rotate this. I don't have snapping checked. That's why I'm getting all the fractionals here. We need to rotate this 180 degrees. And move this over. And we can do the same thing here, and I believe it was 65. You can always double check. So 65, negative 65 and 65. That's going to leave a very minimal gap. We may have to increase this gap, but the next thing we need to add is a cube. Yes, that looks really, really horrible, but we're going to do 0.1 by 0.1, and we're going to shift this over. And this should be negative 72. And then it's going to move it down a little bit. Undo my snapping. We're not going to see this because we're going to actually make this invisible. So we've got this. We're at negative 5, so negative 5. We'll do control C and control V. Come on, control C, control V. So we have now cube 1. So we can take this and just make that 72. So it's symmetrical. They're both on the same side. You know, they're in the same positions. Next thing we're going to need is add a component of a physics constraint. This could be the first of four that we're going to use. All I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this up and move it over to the hinge. Next thing I'm going to do is, in this, we know that this is door 1, and this is cube. So we go to our physics constraint, and in component name 1, component name, we want this to be door 1. It needs to be exactly how it is right there in the component tab. So you can see the door now is is got a red cube around it, or a box around it. So component name here, we want this to be cube. And if you spelled it correctly, you'll see that it's got blue around it. Now, I'm going to select it again, control C, control V, so that I've got a second copy of it and put it down right there for the other hinge. Now, I'm going to do the same thing again. Physics constraint. I'm going to slide it over. and I'm going to push this up. If you want to match the uh, dimensions of it, it's negative 65, this should be 0, and that. What we can do is right-click on this, and if we wanted to, we can copy it. But I'm going to go ahead and make sure this is even, because I have lots of OCDs. So it's negative 65, so this one should be 65 even, tab and 0, and put it at 32, set this one at even 32, This so they're, they're bound in the correct locations. So now we want door 2 and cube 1 is what we're going to work with. So right here we want door 2 and cube 1 so that I'll have both of those selected then I'm going to click off of it, click it again, control C, control V to get another copy of it and move it down and what I'll do is that's negative 40 negative 40 thank you we'll make this one at a negative 40 as well Try to get everything as close to being the same as possible. So you can see that one has got a red and a blue. That one's got a red and a blue. That one's got a red and a blue. That one's got a red and a blue. Next thing we want to do is go to our cube, scroll down, and uncheck visible. Same thing on cube one, uncheck visible. That's going to make those go away. We're going to hit Compile and Save. Now we can come over here and go to our Gadgets folder and get our Swinging Doors. as the ones we just created. You can see they're in the ground a little bit. 
So what we can do while we have them selected is grab here, left click here, and then shift left click here to select everything. And we need to raise this up. We can look at it on the map. Let's raise it up some more. Look at it again. We can actually hit play. Go and look. They're not going to work yet because I haven't enabled the physics on them. So that's pretty good on the height. So I'm going to compile and save. Go back over here. Select this one and shift left click on this one. Come down here and physics. Click in this box and this box. You don't have to worry about changing anything. Compile and save. Now if we go in, if we hit these doors, they are going to work. And because the, the cubes are close enough to um, the doors themselves, it puts pressure on the, the two meshes and it allows them to kind of want to spring back to the neutral position again. So now with that blueprint being in your map, all you're going to have to do now is put it in position. You can actually grab it, drop it into your map, and all you have to do is just position it, match your angles, should be negative 45 move it left and right just to get it centered up when you're doing this take your time on your positioning because you really want the the meshes to kind of help each other out so try to get it centered up in the width of the door frame You want there to be a slight gap on either side. And there you have swinging saloon doors for your saloon. Quick, easy. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than that. You don't have to worry about any timelines or anything complicated. That's it. Um, your swing doors now work, and you can continue doing other stuff. Well, thank everybody for watching, and we will see you around.